Okay, in this I'm going to show how you, uh, the proper way to use the drawing tab as well as you have to use the skeleton tool to uh, make it so I can click through a frame, you know, and if I put an audio file in one of these I would be able to match where the mouth would be. So this is animating mouths the proper way that the software was meant to do it, I believe. Uh, so I'm going to start by drawing a body, drawing a head, oh, whatever. Um, then I'm going to draw my mouth. And just to show how it works, also I'm going to draw the eyes. So draw all three of those things. Then go and choose your center position for each object. So this is center for the eyes. And this is center for the mouth. And this is going to be center for the head. And now what you do is you go to your skeleton tool. And you, uh, oh, no, no, no. You go to your schematic viewer first. And uh, go like, you. Uh, this is my head. This is my eyes. So you want both of these things attached to the head. So anywhere you move the head, it'll move it, and they're independent of each other. And uh, because I had the skeleton tool open, uh, and it was on build skeleton, it automatically made my skeleton. Then you go to um, your drawing. Well, I'm going to extend these frames first, so I have a bunch of frames. Go to your drawing tab. Um, also, click on mouth and activate onion skin so I can see where the mouth is going to be. Uh, one of the little tricks here is if you come over on this section and just double click, it doesn't look like it gave you a new drawing, but it really did. So now if you just start drawing, it will make a new frame over there. That is a lot faster than doing the duplicate drawing I was doing before. So I'm just going to draw a couple mouths. And I'm going to do the same thing with eyes. Make sure you click on a frame as opposed to just on the column when you switch for whatever reason, it doesn't switch when you go back to drawing tool. Onion skin should still be activated, so double click over here. Draw my next set of eyes. Double click over here. Draw another set of eyes. And now this is the real cool part. If you go to your skeleton tool and switch mode to animate, um, click on a frame. Now it gives you this little box here where it says C1. And so um, I'm going to start it by this lets you scroll through. And while you're selected in a frame um, or in a cell, I guess, uh, you can choose where it should be. So that, and if I had an audio file over here, I would be able to match the mouths up really easily with it. Just be like, oh, okay, this guy says, oh, so I want that mouth. So, um, and one of the things you can also do is to extend it. Just pull down on that part. And now two as that mouth has the first four frames. Go down. I don't really care what it is. Um, I'm going to, do that one, do that one for a couple frames. Uh, this one for a few frames. It's over here, you know, do the same thing. Uh, so I'm going to have blink first and have it open for a second, you know, then go to a different set of eyes. Uh, that extend down somewhat. Sorry about my dogs in the background. Cool data. And uh, so now if I play through, you know, it disappeared at the end because uh, as I'm pulling down those frames, it's actually pulling down the frames below it, which is a little bit annoying. And I want to know if there's a way to disable that. But um, 
so far this is definitely the best I can do and it's pretty nice. It actually it works really well.